Billy Edwards of Nebraska City, who was seriously injured in 1922 when his car skidded south of Nebraska City and overturned. He was pinned beneath the crushing metal, but was described as a bone crusher himself when he won the light heavyweight wrestling title of the world in Portland, Oregon in 1924. The Nebraska City boy's mother, Mrs. A.V. Edwards, reacted to his championship by telling the Portland Daily Journal that she never encouraged him to take up the fighting game, but as he had made a success of it, she was more than proud. John Barton said, There is still a lot to be proud of among Nebraska City athletes. He coached the 1985 state track champions. But I told Brett Clark one time, he said, Coach, you don't look very good this year. I said, Brett, the bigger the meat, the better we're going to be. It turned out to be a pretty good forecast, as Tony Jordan, Brad Martin, Harold and Frank Graham, Lance Dixon, and Corey Friesen won medals to fuel the Pioneer Championship. The Grahams were Hall inductees Friday, as was Clark who distinguished himself as a 1984 All-American playing football at the University of Nebraska and led the Atlanta Falcons in interceptions in 1986 and 1988. Inductee Mitch Crank, who played for the Huskers and Chicago Bears, was the Pioneers' Athlete of the Year in 1978. I think this is just a start, obviously. We're lucky enough to be the first ones. But there's so many great athletes that come from the Nebraska City and come through here. I, I can't wait to see how, how it grows. Julie Herman, a state track champion in 1980 and three-year starter for the University of Nebraska volleyball team, said Crank was deserving of the school's Athlete of the Year title. Athlete of the Year? Yes. No, 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 listen, listen. Yeah, this gal, you gotta remember. We were all following Mitch. We all no, followed no, no, him no, to no, Nebraska. No. We all followed him. You gotta state. remember. You, you're talking. You're talk okay. What's big at Nebraska now? Okay, we all know the Huskers, but who wins? Nebraska volleyball. There you go, Nebraska volleyball. Do you feel like you were a forerunner in women's athletics in Nebraska? There were a ton of forerunners. Yeah, I mean, I, I got to follow Jerry Pettit to Nebraska, and he made a whole crew of really uh, really fostering championship opportunities for women. And so a lot of women have got to gotten to go down that portal because of him. Coach Ron Shawless said he was surprised the school did not have a Hall of Fame to this point and took on the duty to get one started. He said the selection committee started with a list of 50 and considered championships and what the athletes had given back to the community. Cross-country icons Harold and Frank Graham were represented by their parents, Richard and Helga, who credited their success to playing soccer and their mindset. In a way that they were very responsible, very uh, reliable, and that helped them in their career. Herman, a silver medalist with the USA Volleyball at the Sydney Olympic Games in 1998, was the first woman hired in the modern BCS era to a Power Five athletic department and led Rutgers to join the Big Ten. She offered her insight for success. Well, it's my experience being in college sports for 30 years that the team doesn't improve as a team. The team improves as individuals improve. So I as an athlete, as a student, can make an individual effort to raise my game and help raise my teammates' games. Because I know watching Mitch and watching Brett and watching my brother Jody, that's what raised my game. Sherry Becerra Matson, a 10-time Paralympic medalist, agreed it's a great day to be a pioneer. Uh, I trained in this community. I'm from this community. I graduated from the high school. So it's just an honor to be asked to be a part of the Hall of Fame. From Nebraska City, I'm Dan Swanson, News Channel Nebraska.